video is for young girls that are dating. If you're not a young girl or a middle-aged girl or an old girl dating, then this video is not for you. Ladies, don't play wife. Don't play wifey, okay? Don't give a guy that benefit of you as a wife without a ring. I'm sorry, they say the ring don't mean a thing. I disagree. The ring means that I'm going to do more for you as a wife than I would do as a girlfriend. Girls, stop giving these benefits to these men. <laughs> that is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, that's where you're wrong, sister. A ring is just like your kidneys. It's cold and full of stones. Nothing more and nothing less. If you're saying that being loyal, loving, and providing peace to your man is something that you'll only provide if you're married, then you've already tipped your hand. If your affection comes with a price tag, then you're already telling this man that he doesn't mean that much to you because you're not offering that much. You think you're offering a relationship, but what you're really offering is a hostage situation. One where you can withhold anything from him at any time, at any reason, and feel nothing, and yet he still has no choice but to deal with it because he's stuck with you in a legally binding financial contract. And that man has every right to know what he's getting himself into before entering into said contract. From the sounds of it though, looks like he's getting himself into a headache with cold meals, dirty laundry, and a dead bedroom. Wow, sign me the hell up. Sorry, that's the way I feel, okay? If you give the benefits to a man as a girlfriend and not a wife, then you know what? You're never gonna get that ring, all right? So if you, girls, if you're looking for a ring, you gotta hold back a little, you have to hold back. You can't put all your cards on the table. Can't put all, this is what I tell my nieces, you can't do it, okay? Especially in 2024, these guys ain't out here looking to wife you up. They're out here looking to, you know, date you on a Saturday night. Or, you know, date you when nobody else is around. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> No offense. Lady, the men who are looking for wives are either already happily married or regretting their decision. The rest of us aren't interested in getting married because with modern women, marriage is just a trinket. It's a thing they want because movies told them that's what they're supposed to have. And I have yet to receive a reasonable answer to this question, which is fairly important. If a man loves you and cares for you and treats you with respect and wants to have a lifelong emotional bond with you, and you just so happen to feel the same way, then what difference does it make if a ring is involved? Does it really sully the relationship all that much? The bureaucratic institution of marriage is a massive con job that benefits everyone except the man and his children if he has any. No man wants to deal with that anymore, especially with a woman who was obviously dating beyond her league. We all know the truth as to why you're so bitter, so why hide it? You know, listen, I have been through these trials and tribulations, and I have learned, and I have to tell you, the situation I'm in right now is because I played the game smart, okay? I just, this advice is free. I should really start charging you youngins, okay? But do not give wife benefits on a girlfriend budget. Remember that. Emotional damage. So how exactly did you play the game smart when you just made a tirade about how men were too humiliated to be seen with you in public? Now let's pretend the impossible for a moment and say that you are married and you provided these wife benefits, whatever the hell those are. How do you think that man feels knowing that you disregarded his feelings so much that you cared more about getting married than you did about his own feelings? And to add insult to injury, you not only kept this mentality from him, but you still openly shared it on the internet as free advice to other hive-minded idiots. I honestly would feel sorry for that man if he actually existed, but luckily for us, much like your future, it's just a figment of your imagination. And thank the intergalactic space god Smokormagurt, all hail for that, because there isn't a man that deserves that kind of eternal torment. See you later! Okay, so here it goes. You know I'm gonna vent on the dating scene. So when I first got single in my 40s, I was like, if someone came at me that had never been married before, I thought that was a super red flag. Now I'm just like, are they just super driven? At, now at 50 they want to like date and settle down? What is with the men out there that have never been married, never like engaged, none of that, and then just say, 
their career was more important. <laughs> oh wait, you're serious. Well, that's because their career was more important. You see, men work, it's what we do. And it's through work that we find a sense of completion in life. And that comes in all forms. We also have a natural drive to compete. We want to be the best at what we do. So we're always striving for bigger and better things. And that's not something that can be accomplished when we're dealing with a woman who's plotting to divorce us and take half of everything we work for before she's even met us. And the same could be said about you, sweetheart. Being 50 and single is a massive red flag within itself. Regardless of the circumstances, married or not, it raises two questions. Why are you this old and never got married? Or why are you this old when you got divorced? Either way, we don't want the answer. The answer's not worth our time. And it's just one of the many, 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 oh, so many reasons why we don't get involved with broads that are in their 50s. Was their career more important? Or were they players? Was their career more important? Or are they mama's boys? I just don't know. Like, I'm still so, like, never married still draws a red flag for me. I'm just gonna say it. I mean, you're looking at somebody that's been divorced for 12 years. That should probably be a red flag to you about me. So, I mean, I'm very self aware, but hmm, I'm gonna need some thoughts on this. You're boring! You're fucking dull! You have nothing to say! You are a one hived mind twat waffle! Lady, that guy could be a rocket scientist or a dude who stocks dog food at the local grocery store part-time, and his career will always be more important than you. You've been divorced for over 12 years, so you're at the point where pretty much anything is a red flag. Let's think about this with a concept that's completely foreign to you. Logic. If a man was never married, it's because he's a career-driven player or a mama's boy. Either way, it's a red flag, but if he was married and got divorced, it would also be a red flag because in today's society, when a woman initiates divorce, she is completely justified in every case because the man was either a narcissist or he didn't make you happy, ergo, he was a bad husband either way, thus making him a red flag. You rid the game so the man can't win and you remain the victim no matter what, and then you act shocked when men are no longer interested. Well, congratulations, woman. You got exactly what you wanted. You're avoiding all of the red flags and you're going to die alone. At least that's what I'm assuming you want. How else can you explain all of these monumental failures? Congratulations! This is a test of the YouTube Emergency Copyright Protection System where every time it is used, an executive over at YouTube is drop kicked in the- And now, a special television event. Don't pay that psycho any mind. She's just jealous because she wasn't invited over to Skeeter's house. So get this, Skeeter was yard sailing a few days ago and came across this dude who was selling an absurd amount of those Hot Wheels tracks. He wanted next to nothing for this stuff and he had everything. So naturally, we ditched our plans to play golf cart dodgeball to build the world's most awesome Hot Wheels track. We had everything set up loops, barrel rolls, PVC pipes for tunnels. I mean, this thing was looking pretty awesome. Before starting up on this epic adventure, we decided to break for lunch and Skeeter went to his fridge to grab a couple of steaks for lunch and as he came out, he wasn't paying attention to the plate of ribeyes he had in one hand, but was more focused on the mysterious set of keys he found in his vegetable crisper in the fridge. Now we all understood this confusion because Skeeter's carnivore. He doesn't have any use for a crisper. So it makes total sense why he never came across those keys before. Now, if you've ever been to Skeeter's, then you know this house is a maze of corridors and secret rooms, and it was like that when he got it. So we all sat down to lunch to try to figure out the mystery of this mysterious key. So it was unanimously agreed that we needed to put Operation Fire Tires on hold so we could find out what these keys unlocked. So we all split up to try to track down this mystery, and this is Skeeter's house we're talking about here. There weren't any blueprints, and we didn't need them. We just needed ingenuity, determination, and a little bit of brotherhood, and we had all three in spades that day. It also didn't hurt that we had a little bit of luck as well. I mean, Skeeter's house is pretty big, but after a few hours of searching Skeeter's arcade, his basement wet bar, the pool room, the dart room, and the trampoline basketball room, we were running out of ideas, but then it hit me. It was so simple, I couldn't believe it. Skeeter's refrigerator had wheels. Now, I didn't think about it too much at the time, but I decided, you know, what the hell. 
I moved that behemoth out of the way, and guess what I found? No, no dust bunnies, but a freaking vault door with a key lock. I called over Skeeter and the guys, and I gave him the honors. And Skeeter inserted that key, gave it a twist, and you are not going to believe what he found on the other side. And if you want to find out more about the mystery of Skeeter's vault, then check out the conclusion over at the Bounty Board, where for five bucks a month, you get access to exclusive videos, including stories from the Lockverse, the Skeeter Chronicles, the best movies around, as well as a permanent producer credit, a personal shout out from yours truly, and it's a great way to support the channel and get some additional content in the process. So I hope you consider joining the Bounty Board over on Patreon. The link is in the pinned comment down below. And check out what happens next over at Skeeter's house. Believe me, it's worth it. A couple weeks ago, I made a video <laughs> joking about how I was 40 and single and I had no kids and, um, and how great it is to have so much freedom. So many people got so mad <laughs> and said, no, you're lying, you're so lonely. And not to keep bringing it up, but I'm gonna keep bringing it up because I'm still getting like so many comments every day. And I will tell you, you're not completely wrong. Sometimes I am really lonely. I feel shocked. Lady, 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 there's no need for this. You weren't joking, you were coping. And yes, there is a difference. The biggest difference being that one is funny and rest assured, sweetheart, it isn't the joke. Those men were most certainly not angry with you. Anger requires a significant emotional investment and you're not worth that kind of energy. Those men were making fun of you and having a laugh at your expense because you thought you could get away with lying to the entire planet and they told you the one thing that you couldn't stand. They called you out for your coat, but now you're trying to preserve what little dignity you have left by saying that you were only joking, but that they were also right, which is a weird form of damage control that I don't really see working out in your favor, especially when we see right through you and those freakish bug eyes of yours. Seriously, those things are creepy. But if there's anything we know, there is one thing that cuts right into your soul and drives you crazy to the point where you must project your insecurities and rage onto internet trolls. But I have friends and I know a lot of people that are married and have children that are also lonely. And I will say this, I have been in relationships that I have felt incredibly isolated and lonely in. And there's nothing more lonely than being in the wrong relationship. Being lonely when you are alone and you're like comfortable with your own company is a different feeling than just being with someone and feeling invisible. That's the worst. Bullshit! 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 Oh, I get it. You're obviously insecure to the point where if a man isn't giving you constant validation and 100% of his time, energy, and resources, then he makes you feel isolated and miserable and everything is horrid. And those friends of yours who feel lonely are either modern morons or they're going through a downswing in their relationship. That's going to happen from time to time. It's called life. Either way, your secondhand testimonials provide zero justification as to why you're single, childless, and looking grimier than an old oil rag from an ancient garage. What you said justifies absolutely nothing. You're clearly miserable. And you justify this by saying you're comfortable with being in your own company, even though you are lonely, which outside of being a blatant contradiction, makes no sense because it does nothing but prove the obvious. You done screwed up, sister, and you're incapable of doing anything but feeling sorry for yourself as you drink yet another box of wine at the wall. This show is brought to you in part by the Bounty Board over on Patreon. I want to take a second to thank every single member for supporting this channel and showing your love. Thank you so much, gentlemen and gents. It truly does mean a lot to me that you're helping out. All hail!
And of course, there is more than one way to support the channel. If you're new here, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel, make sure to leave a couple of comments and share this video so we can give the good old fashioned middle finger to the YouTube algorithm. And of course, thank you for checking out the new video and until next time, peace out homies.